We have a direct injectant progress. Mostly we have a high pressure fuel pump control strategy progress by Scott, which seems to be doing a lot of good. So that's a Passat. Everyone loves those shaky videos. And I'm not even touching the throttle pedal right now. That's because I have some questionable idings, idle settings, questionable everything settings, really. But most importantly, where's our TPS? Where's our, yeah, throttle pedal? That's gonna be me showing that I'm not touching throttle. Maybe that's not the happiest engine, but that's the winner. The winner is we are controlling high pressure, kind of. We have a PI regulator, we have a target table. We have some magic. That's the table, which is currently 50 bar across the board. I can rev. Sometimes I can't. So the interesting part here is we are deciding how much pumping angle to engage every time. That's my understanding. I'm assuming it's very untuned and nobody knows how to operate it. The angle is currently going all the way from like 0 to 20. Who knows if that's good or bad. So more RPM, more pumping angle. Less RPM, less pumping angle. We still have a lot to learn, but it starts more or less reliably now, which is tremendous progress. I don't think I can kill it through the car. Let me kill it through the software and start again. So that's killed. No throttle. Where's going to be the throttle, throttle, throttle? That's the throttle position. Some, it's kicking back sometimes and it's not starting always. But sometimes it does. And then it dies. That's very untuned. There's no coolant sensor because I need to solder it. There's no intake air sensor because I need to solder something. That's the pedal now. It doesn't start anymore. Interesting. Let's try again. Now it started with throttle pedal application. Can I let it go? And still runs. Wants to die. Idle control is not set. Nothing is really set here. I'm sure that's too much. 